Okay, in this video I want to talk about calculating the variance of a set of data. And the variance formula that we use, um, they label it as S squared, um, and there's a reason for this because they talk about the uh, standard deviation being the square root of variance. But anyway, back to the variance, it says to calculate the variance, it says X bar represents the average of your set of data. You have to subtract every value um, subtract the the average away from each value, square it, and add them up, and then divide by the number of objects in your sample. So in this case, consider this little sample. So we have 63853. Okay, so the first thing typically that I would do is I would calculate the average. Well, to calculate an average, we just add up our data, 6 plus 3 plus 8 plus 5 plus 3, divided by the number, which is 5. And I got this average to be, I believe I got this to be 25 over 5. So it says the average x bar is going to be 5. Okay, so maybe I'll stick that over here to the side. So x bar, the average value is going to be 5. Okay, from that now we have to calculate. Um, so in our formula we have the x of i minus x bar. So all that means is you take every number and subtract away what x bar is. So 6 minus 5 is 1. I'll take 3 minus 5. I'll take 8 minus 5. 5 minus 5. And then also, again, 3 minus 5. So let me calculate that. Looks like we get negative 2, positive 3, 0, and negative 2. So the next part in our formula, it says we have to add up the sum of the squares. So one, two, in. Okay, well we've got the the values for each of the squares. So now all we need to do is simply well, excuse me, we didn't square them yet. Um, we now need to square those. So if you take six minus five squared so 6 minus 5 squared, well we calculated what 6 minus 5 is, it's 1, so we'll get 1 squared. Likewise, the next value we get when we square it, we'll get positive 4. Okay, so again, all I'm doing is I'm taking every number that I calculated before and squaring it. If I square 3, I'll get 9. If I square 0, I get 0. If I square negative 2, I get positive 4. So if I add these numbers up, 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 0 plus 4, I got this to be 18. <coughs> so again, that's what the sigma means is. It means to add all the values up. Okay, so we've done that part now. And we're pretty much there at this point. Okay, so again, it says our formula for calculating variance. It says um, the formula is the summation from i equals 1 to n of each of the individual points minus the average squared over the number of um, objects in our sample. Well, we just calculated if you take the each point minus its average, square it, add it up, we got that to be the number 18, so that's what we just calculated on top. The number of objects, well, we can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so we'll have 5 minus 1 on the bottom, or 18 over 4. And it says the variance, therefore, s squared is going to equal 4.5 for this uh, set of data. So again, all the variance is, somehow it's a measure um, of the spread of your data. It's just one way to measure the spread. Um, so it basically tells you, you know, how, how close together are your numbers. Um, so here our numbers are sort of close together, so the variance isn't really big. If these numbers were further apart, you could check that you get a larger, um, a larger number, 
which means they're varying more. Okay, So that's the basic idea. So I hope this example helps. If you have any questions, feel free to post comments, and hopefully somebody can help you out.